November is National Adoption Month, and in America, three out of every five families are touched by adoption. 700 Club co-host Terry Musin knows from personal experience because her family is one of them. Adoption is something very dear to me. My husband Andy and I had two biological children. Then we adopted two children. I thought our family was complete until God stirred my heart. Children to this maze. Anyway, the bottom line is we got During a television interview, a couple told me about three sisters they met in a Ukrainian orphanage. The couple was approved to adopt only two children. So the oldest sister said she would stay behind so her two sisters would have the opportunity to have a real family. What type of child is willing to make such a sacrifice? I couldn't get it out of my thoughts. I prayed, God, bring a family to adopt those girls. Little did I know it would be my own. The willingness to embrace another adoption didn't happen overnight. I already had four children. I imagined the chaos of seven. Andy and I clearly felt God calling us to become parents to these three little girls. But to be honest, I was looking for someone who would say, Terry, are you insane? Bye, honey. I mean, this was adopting three girls at once. We should have been concentrating on sending our kids to college. Instead, we would be back to kids in grade school. God, I don't think I can do this. I just thought I'm not big enough for this. This is a huge job and I, it's too important. You know, if I blow this, I mean, are they suffering in the orphanage? Yes, but wow, God, I mean, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to, how to be everything they probably need us to be and, and, and we're not perfect parents in any way. And I felt like God kind of chuckled and said, you're not gonna do this. I'm gonna do this and you're just, you're gonna come with me. So with God's promise to help, we added three wonderful Ukrainian girls to our family. Sophia, age nine, Zoya, 11, and Elisa, 12. Today, I've found adopting and raising children is not without its challenges, but it's very fulfilling to know you've given a child a better life, a Christian heritage, and a chance to know God. Terry Mewson is here with us now. Not only has she adopted five children herself, with her husband's help, of course, <laughs> she's also the director of Orphans Promise, CBN's outreach to orphans and vulnerable children around the world. And Terry, please tell us about these children and the struggles that they face. Well, you know, most of them have been in institutions in their countries because something has happened in their families. Parents have died or there's been some kind of addiction in the family, desertion in the family. So they, they come from wounded backgrounds and they don't know what family is. So one of the things that we love to do is be able to have an input. It's hard to do this in government facilities. We work a lot with people who have uh, existing orphanages where ministry opportunities happen. What and so do you uh, focus well, on? Well, we're in 52 countries wow. right now. In five years' time, we've expanded that far. And we, we see the incredible opportunity to make a difference through education, especially spiritually in the lives of these children, and then just loving them. Love mm. covers the multitude of sins, and you know it really makes an impact on them. And earlier you said something that really touched me. You said that, you know, we think of, that there's a lot of kids being adopted, but really you said it's only about 1% of all the orphans out there? This year it's estimated that there will be 146 million orphans in the world, wow. and about 1% of those children are adopted into families. So that's one of the reasons Orphan Pro Orphans Promise exists. We looked at the other 99% and said, what about them? What mm. happens to them? So we are establishing training centers. We're undergirding microenterprise opportunities, a uh, academic opportunities for these children, safe living environments for mm. them. In some instances, food is a part of, of what they get, but always the message that they are children of God and that God has purpose and meaning right. for their lives. And of course, even the Bible says that, tr um, among other things, true, true religion is taking care of the orphans. The orphans, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Now, what, Terry, what kind of challenges might parents face once they've adopted? You've adopted yeah. five. Mm -hmm. Three beautiful girls from the Ukraine and, and two boys, and right? And two boys from, from two other uh, areas yeah. or regions.
questions. But, uh, you know, one of the things that happens, especially with people who are adopting older children, and I consider any, any child that's not an infant an older child, is people, we expect that they're going to come with grateful hearts, wanting to be in a family, mm -hmm. and that we're going to get our life back yeah. <laughs> once that all settles <laughs> into place. And I think you have to know that these children come with abandonment issues, rejection issues. They've been wounded sometimes physically as well as emotionally mm -hmm. and psychologically. And God wants to use us to be a part of the healing process. You can't love that pain out of them, mm. but you can love them through the process of healing. Mm. And love is the key thing there. You know, it really is. I mean, do you remember the story not too long ago about this woman who adopted a young boy from Russia and at seven sent him back mm. and said, I, I can't handle him. And people really got on the case of the woman, but I understood what she was going through. Mm. Resources, once you adopt a child internationally, are sometimes pretty slim over here. I think it's becoming, you're finding more and more opportunities to get some training and some background and some understanding. But, you know, you're not adopting a child who even knows what family is. So how mm. are you going to have them easily become a part of your family? It's a process. Now, from someone who's been there and is still there, yeah. what advice, Terry, would you give to couples considering international adoption? Well, I would say pray, hear from God. It's, it's wonderful to have a heart for children who need a family, but you need to know what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. You need to know what the challenges are. You need to hear from other parents. And then don't be afraid. If God's calling you to it, he'll give you what you need to be equipped for it. But know what you're getting into and be sure God's calling you into that. Mm, all right. Good advice. And thank you so much Thanks, for what you're Randy. doing with Great Orphan's with Promise. You we appreciate it. <laughs>